everybody, this is Joel and Paul and Ian from moving to Mexico. Bienvenidos a nuestro canal and bienvenidos a Taco Tuesday. Welcome, bienvenidos. If you're new to our channel, please hit that subscription button, toggle the notification. The reason you want to toggle that notification is because every Saturday we give away a week stay in Bucerias, Mexico. And Ian, Wait, every Saturday, every Saturday we give away a trip. I, I gotta Did you even know that? I, I mean. I've watched the videos, but I I didn't realize it was every Saturday. Every I thought that's Saturday. too good to be true. We, we've given away almost 45 trips, and we're going to give away 50, 100. Well, so I'm, I'm not stopping until I do it. You got to tell your friends to subscribe to the channel. So they they got to like, they got to subscribe, hit the notification. How many YouTube profiles can you make? Uh, well, you know. Multiple, however many email addresses you have, I guess. Yeah, you know, as many we'll email accept them, yeah. yeah, we'll accept multiple uh, <laughs> accounts to help Ian the numbers. Ian 1, Ian 2. Yeah, to yeah. help the numbers, uh, help the numbers escalate. He's already thinking of ways to yeah. like cheat the system here. That's cool. <laughs> Anyways, uh, where are we today? We are in the beautiful Sierra Madre Mountains in the state of Jalisco, just outside of Puerto Vallarta. And Ian uh, has ridden with us before here. He is a retired pro cyclist. You've you've done the, the whole gambit. You're with yeah. Team Sky. Ended your career with uh, Katusha Alpeson, yep. and now you're retired, working for Wahoo. Still a dream job. You're working in, yeah. in cycling and, and riding in Mexico. And riding yeah. in Mexico. Yeah. How bad is riding in Mexico? It is awesome. It's yeah. <laughs> second time. Second time down here. Um, yeah. We were here back in 2018, yeah. and yeah, I've been meaning to come back here since, and finally things uh, kind of worked out, and we could come back down. And yeah, I was. I think 10 days I was here for last time. Again, 10 days, and still finding new roads every time I've come here. It's, it's like countless. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's uh, and just yeah, we were we were never honked at today. We were whistled at from people. I guess there's a uh, ma national championship yeah. mountain bike race yeah. today in in uh, Vallarta, and yeah, a lot of people heading down with with mountain bikes on the back and then cheering us on. So it's yeah, sometimes I feel like I'm riding in Europe in the You're Alps back, or something. Back yeah, in the people, Alps and yeah, people like... cheering you on and wishing you good luck. No, oh, that's awesome. But anyways, we're uh, at this world famous bakery, and it is world famous. Anyone who comes to this part of Jalisco always stops here. Um, I have some specific baked goods that I love, uh, one that is stuffed with chorizo and frijoles. And uh, then after that, we're actually going to go across the bridge to this restaurant. And uh, because it is Taco Tuesday, even though it's Saturday, and we're yeah. going to get some freaking amazing yeah. tacos. I would love that because I, uh, I miss breakfast this morning. Okay. I slept in, so I was late to the ride. I had a bar on the ride, so I'll have had tacos for dinner Monday night, and then yeah. tacos for Tuesday for brunch, I guess. Breakfast and lunch, because I missed breakfast. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I'm, we're going to take care of you. Hey, do you want to go in, Paul? Yeah, let's go inside let's and go see check this, in this what's bakery. going on here. Sure. Oh, you can have a bag. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Hay chocolate. Buenos días, muchachos. Aquí está el de champignon. Se pueden sentar donde gusten. Ahí tenemos terracita, patio, ¿ok? Un chocolate para llevar. Oh. You can sit any place. Joe, you did not wait to start eating. I didn't know. I, am, I was like, because it's like Ian. I didn't eat breakfast today. Yeah. I had a coffee and I, uh, but look at, so this is Lomo. Uh -huh. And uh, it's got cabbage and onion and cheese. It's, how, how do you go wrong? Mm. That reminds me of, um, I'm Ukrainian heritage. Mm -hmm. My grandma used to make something very similar, but yeah. they were smaller buns, mm -hmm. but stuffed with meat, cabbage, and onion. Yeah, that Just looks... like this. Do, have they been making those uh, for a long time? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> All right, Joel. So we had pan. We, we had, had pan. pan. At the panaderia. Remember, we taught you guys that. The area, when you add it onto a word, says what it does. So pan is bread, and panaderia is a, a bakery. And this is a really, really famous bakery here in the middle of the Sierra Madre Mountains. People going in all directions always stop here. And but you, you will run into people that have driven this road so many times and they never stop. And there actually was a time where I rode this road with my bike and I never stopped. And then one day I stopped and I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I never stopped here for all these years. And yeah, they, this is like a, this is a treasure. Yeah, what did you eat? I got a Philadelphia yeah. Isamoria. Oh, 
Okay. The berry, right? So you got the sweet one. I got a sweet one. Yeah. I couldn't help myself. So they do the sweet bread, not sweet breads from like a, a, a cow. <laughs> but they do the sweet hot bread stuff Wait, with sweet like breads from a cow. Yeah, you know, like it's the nuts. You ever heard what? that? Yeah, it's the testicles. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's oh, a wait, delicacy, whoa, whoa. sweet bread. I'm gonna have to bleep this yeah. out, man. <laughs> you never heard of that? I uh, know. Sweet breads. Uh uh. Okay. So, safe safe travels. Thanks. Thanks for everything. Nice to guys. meet you. See you mañana. You're gonna come tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. I'll send you the details. Cool. You guys ride on the There we go. We're gonna have support tomorrow morning. Very good. Um, anyways, you can put that in if you want, but if you do order sweet breads on a menu, Make sure they're actually sweet breads. Yes. Okay. So this eria is the pan panaderia. Is which? Bakery. What is the uh, next eria that we're going to? Ooh, a well, it's a restaurant, but they have amazing tacos. Okay. So it's not really a taqueria. Okay. But it's not really a restaurant either. No, uh, a restaurant is just a restaurant. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> the uh, restauranteria. I've never seen that. Would be a place where they make restaurants. Oh, could be. Like you manufacture a restaurant yes. and ship it to someone. Yes. That's a good one. We'll start that word, Paul. Yes. Anyways, I had the uh, the, the meat, the um, like the uh, the meat with the, the onions and the cabbage. And I was telling the guy, like I completely remember my grandma's cooking. We, they did these little stuffed hot breads uh, with that almost exact same mixture. Yeah. And it just brought me back to childhood. Anyway, so... Here from Vallarta, you could drive and get up here in about maybe an hour. Hour 20. Hour and 20. Like yeah. right from Vallarta, right from Boucher ESP. Yeah. Hey, almost an hour and a half. It's completely worth the trip. Uh, you can continue on. And tomorrow we're going to be doing this incredible ride with Ian, who you met at the beginning of the episode, where we're going to basically the highest point, 2,600 meters. We're, we're going to start with him putting his feet in the, uh, the ocean tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. And then we're going to go from sea level to 2,600 meters, all in one shot, over 153 kilometers of riding. And 4,500 meters of elevation. Yeah, yeah we'll show like, a little it's, highlight it's video of that yeah, at some we'll, point. Yeah, we'll put that in there. Um, Did we tell them we're right next to a giant bridge? Yeah, we're... we're, we're Let's go look at it. Yeah, we're... Let's yeah. go tell them. Is that so on? this is Puente El Progreso, and it's, it's the Bridge of Progress. And once upon a time, this bridge, it was never... It wasn't here. So yeah. <clears throat> if you wanted to cross this big ravine, you had to zigzag all the way down through these crazy switchbacks yeah and then zigzag all the way up these yeah. switchbacks and if you can imagine way back it's not fun way back in the day when they were mining, oh we should go around cause... well uh yeah i gotta yeah. pay five pesos oh, five that's pesos okay. to get through well, i got some pesos okay that's, that's new okay. huh well i think someone dropped all their cookies i think what happens is here's a restaurant yeah people would come and like take in the views but not buy anything sure so this is Laos. They're saying. Where's my paid pesos? Here. Okay. But we'll uh What does five peso equal in US dollars? Twenty-five cents. Yeah. Twenty-five cents. <clears throat> to come see. Look at this. Yeah, and you can you can see some single track trails, but yeah, once upon a time, and I don't know where the road was, but uh, it was explained to me that you had to go down there uh -huh. and then come back out of this thing. That's That'd be pretty wild. Yeah. And way back in the day when they were mining up at San Sebastian, all those guys with donkey carts yeah, would be, a donkey, be hauling right? like gold and silver all the way from there to Puerto Vallarta. They would just dream of this bridge. And they were like, oh my God, why, why can't we go to this here? Yeah. Uh, those were different times, so I don't think those workers were very, uh, <laughs> very happy. And a matter of fact, there is a story because there's Playa de los Muertos in Puerto Vallarta. Do you know the history there? No. Well, <clears throat> all the slaves who were hauling all that gold and silver for the Spanish eventually rebelled and they murdered everybody. Whoa. On okay. that beach. Wow. And so now it's the Playa you de los Muertos. We're done pulling, pulling all this silver. Yeah, the, the mine's been completely scraped. Crazy. But Mexico is still one of the biggest silver producers in the, in, uh, in the entire world. And a lot of Canadian companies own silver mines here. Go figure. Pretty cool. Yeah. Anyways, it's neat. And There's we, the bridge. And you have a drone shot, eh? Throw yeah. It up. Throw it up there. Look at that, guys. Look at that drone shot. Look at that drone shot. And uh, some people are still amazed, and I guess I still am after years of cycling, that 
you know, we ride up here. Yeah. Like all the way from Bucerias. We started in Bucerias and we rode all the way up here. Yeah. Assess. What did we do? 60, 62, 63 kilometers yeah. already. One way. Now we got to do 63 kilometers back. Pretty cool. All right. All right. right. So well, we're going go. to the restaurant now. We're going to huh? go to the restaurant and go eat some tacos. All right. Let's go. Just over the bridge. All right, we are Parada, Parada Numero Dos, which is stop number two. Now the Panaderia has some amazing sweet stuffed breads as we saw, and also the savory ones with, with meat. Which, which one did, did you eat, actually eat one? No, I was saving it for You're tacos. You saving for the tacos? Well, we went out to dinner last night mm -hmm. and I had tacos. My wife got a chili renea, which was yeah. good. But you can never go wrong with tacos. Yeah. Like when you're here, just you're never going to be disappointed yeah. with the tacos. Well, regardless, these are going to blow your mind. Okay. Well, because uh, I was here like a few weeks ago, and the first time I've ever stopped at this restaurant. Yeah. Because it's a fairly new restaurant. Yeah. And we kind of already had the places we like. You know, when you have your places you like to stop, and you don't want the same. You just yeah. kind of keep going the same, and I'm like, you know, let's just go here because it looks awesome. We got this like beautiful view. And uh, we stopped, I'm like, oh my God. And he makes it, I see it. So this well, little statue that Paul started on, I don't know if they're kind of continuing on, but the guy's definitely in the, uh, in the field, basically harvesting agaves. That's, wow. what, that's, the, that's what I'm assuming he's doing. He's, yeah. just, he's just missing his, uh, his little harvesting right. rod. But I think, let's go that's check it out. That's not gonna be a saxophone? Oh, well, it could be, he could be playing an instrument. No, he doesn't really look like <laughs> a looks, saxophone player, right? He looks like a, right? uh, an agave guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's go up to the restaurant and okay. check it out. Okay, we go this You're way. hungry, you? Yep. La Raicia aquí es uno de los mejores. So what is the name of this restaurant? Do you know it? Did you, <laughs> did you catch it? Uh, let's go look. Ooh, you could feel the heat Actually, off of that. It's Hacienda Don Lalin. It's hot right yeah. there. Oh yeah. So um, Hacienda de Don Lalin. Don Lalin. So and that's the name of uh, Señor Lalin or Don Lalin. He is the one who makes the raicia. Uh -huh. And uh, we're going to be working on a little joint project together. Ooh. More on that another Ooh, time. Another time. Sí, no es. Todo es muy rico aquí. What we should do, Paul? What? This is it beer clock? It is. This is what I see a clock. This is right. See a clock here? Yeah. Here. Here's the bottle. Okay. Go ahead. Take your Take cup. Take it. He probado todo, pero. ¿Cómo te llamas? Eduardo. Eduardo? See, we're talking about the difference between the blue agave and my green agave. Yeah. You see? My green agave, most people know it like Lechuguilla. The real name is Maximiliana. <laughs> But if you compare green agave from here, from the coast area, or green agave from Oaxaca, mm -hmm. in Oaxaca state they make mezcal. So mezcal and raicilla are like kind of brothers, because both are made by green agave. Mm -hmm. But everything changed. Different agave, different green agave, different soil, mm -hmm. different weather, different water. And how many different agave make raicilla? Raicillas, we have we have uh, actually about three kinds. Okay. We have the Angustifolia, we have Maximiliana, and we have Enequidens. Enequidens? Enequidens is another, another type. Okay. See? In La Costa, the coast area, they, they have Angustifolia, seven different types. See? Raicilla. Mezcal, they have a lot of different ones because we have five different Mexican states. Like they produce mezcal mm -hmm. with the name mezcal. Mm -hmm. For example, Oaxaca state, they put a little warm. Yes. In Durango state, they put the scorpions. Okay. So it's just different. Whatever they, bug they find around, they put it in there. Actually, actually, in Durango, uh -huh. but they found the they, they find the scorpions around. Uh -huh. In Oaxaca, they use the same, uh, the same warm that that burns, burns in the same agave. It's just traditions. It's, it's just traditional. Traditions, in Oaxaca traditions. You know, this is the only, this is the only state allowed to, yeah, to put a little warm, and you, you can identify the, the, 
the mezcal because the warm, you okay. know, is from Oaxaca. Ah, okay. The moment you see the scorpions from Durango. Mm -hmm. Durango. So actually, different crazy traditions in in, in, in Chihuahua State. Uh -huh. They put the snakes, really? rattle snakes. Wow. Can I get a? Which one did you try, Joel? I the regular one, this? The regular, this one right here. Yeah, right here. Okay, yeah, I'll try this. This is the, the original raicilla. Gracias. Mm, that's good. Entonces es un taco de borrego, barbacoa, la otra de birria para mí, so uno y uno, y lo mismo para él. Sí. Y un extra taco de barbacoa de, de borrego para él. And uh, here's the thing, I mean, you're, I mean, you've traveled all the world, so you're a little bit more adventurous, but so many times I, I've seen people like look at the mic and they're like scared. Oh, I didn't even question it. <laughs> I just like, saw like, someone else ordered it. It's hibiscus like, water. I, yeah, it's like, well, yeah, hibiscus water and like has maybe just like a touch of sugar, sugar. something sweet, or agave or something. Yeah. But on the ride, like this, it's so refreshing. Yeah. I don't know. I wonder if this would probably go well in that. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> Hydrate and drink at the same time. Yeah. I'm gonna make myself a hibiscus cocktail when it comes. Yeah. Well, I gotta get down. I gotta get down the hill. So yeah, that's drink true. I, yeah, I'm, you still gotta ride down. I gotta get down. <laughs> I, I, I opted into the van. Pepe's driving, right? Yeah, Pepe's driving. <laughs> so then he and I have uh, been talking. Well, welcome to Taco Tuesday, by the way. Yeah, I'm uh, it's happy. So, it's amazing to have a, to a guest like you. Yeah, well, so happy to. Yeah. I will eat for camera. I'll spend as much time on the camera as you want as if you as feed me. As long as like we feed you. you feed me, I'm, I'm here. Okay. Yeah, we're, uh, we've been chatting about doing like a multi-day uh, trip through Jalisco, maybe with some of his other cyclist friends. And that would be a cool thing for moving to Mexi.co too, uh, Paul. Yes, yes. Because we could explore all these little towns plus throw the cycling into it. Yeah. So you can kind of like kill two birds with one stone. We could make it a Velo Guide video, but every stop could be a Taco Tuesday. That sounds awesome. Hey. Yeah. You could do a taco trip. It's like, yeah, taco it's like, tour. Vuelta, the, taco, Vuelta, taco. Vuelta de Tacos. Vuelta de Tacos. Vuelta de Tacos, <laughs> excellent. All right, anyways, uh, cheers. Yeah. Thanks, for, uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having it's good me. Good to have you guys back. I am stoked to be here. Yeah, I was in California a couple of weeks ago and did an awesome, an awesome trip. But to be quite honest, this tops it. It does. I mean, but why do you say that? I just, it's just the culture of everything here. Yeah. It's so much different. You, know, you think in, and I think I guess especially with the people who I oftentimes ride with in the U.S., it's very much this like mentality of like go go go, like right quick stop, let's get back on the bike. You know, we stopped over on the other side of the bridge, had pastry, came over here. Now we're having, you know drinks full on lunch yeah. and then we cruise down and, and it's not i felt like when we stopped out front i was like right like everyone else can go back down and we'll have lunch and then we'll we'll catch them but no everyone wants like no one's gonna miss out everyone's yeah. like cool let's stop <laughs> no, like, like, this is, the, this yeah, is why, this is why we rock yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's just the yeah it's just so much more I don't want to say authentic, but it's just like it's a cultural shift between yeah. riding in, in the US and Canada and riding here. It's just people are, the culture is just more relaxed. Like this is, it's the weekend. It's, you know, or, you know, even weekdays, it's like if you've, if you've made the choice to like go for a bike ride, then enjoy it and that's your day and make the most out of that rather than try to squeeze in, you know, a hundred things in one day, which is, you know, something I think we all have to have to learn is like, yeah, to slow down and yeah, and like be present in the moment. And you know, you know, and yeah, I mean, everyone's just so friendly. I mean, willing to take time to explain, you know, what this is, how it's made, the process, and yeah, something you don't get that sort of customer service always in the U.S. and, and Canada. You know, it's 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 rushed and it's it's a business, and they're there to like make money as quickly as they can. And here, you know, we're we're sprawled out over three tables. They don't didn't ask any questions you know it's they're friendly and just genuinely happy to, like to happy share to like yeah share what, what share, they're doing. yeah share their life essentially share their home with us share their yeah. life with us, right? yeah like we're an extension of like friend or family mm -hmm. that's honestly how eduardo feels i can it's tell the, you that straight up yeah it's yeah. the mi casa es tu casa, it's tu casa. Right? yeah mi casa es tu yeah casa. and it's true it's uh you know i'm sure if we needed anything they would be able to help us out yeah. we needed to wash our bike or if i said oh my 
bike's broken, can you drive me back to Bucerias? <laughs> they would find someone to drive me back yeah. to Bucerias, you know, because they're just happy to, happy to help. And that did happen to me one time. I broke down on the middle of this mountain. And, uh, Baraki. And uh, my rear derailleur broke. Yeah. And I had no self signal, nothing. And uh, a lady stopped in a pickup truck, and yeah. I just threw my bike in the back, yeah. and she drove she drove me to the stop, and then I had yeah. a cell signal, and when I had a cell signal, I called Jillian, yeah. and she came in, and she came and picked me up. Yeah. I was driving back from Mazatlan, and we were, what was the little town? I forget the name of it right now, but it's it's past San Pancho. Okay. Like between San Pancho and Guayabitos. Yeah. And uh, we were we were coming into that town and my car broke down and we were basically we're on the country we're on the side yeah. road like in the country and my car broke down and it was around 4 30 in the afternoon so it's kind of like their rush hour so there's a lot of cars going by and i was sitting there and i was like now what am i gonna do yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. like, i'm not a mechanic you know and so then i uh i sat there and i looked at daniela i was like uh oh and pretty soon maybe we were there for like two minutes yeah just thinking what we're gonna do next and a guy stopped, pulled over, said, pop the hood open, and started looking around. Um, then his wife came over, and then pretty soon his cousin, who I learned later was his cousin, drives by. He's like, hey man, and like he pulls over. <laughs> primo. He's got his truck, he's got yeah. his primo there. Yeah. His primo had a truck. Pretty soon they're just attaching my car yeah, to theirs to a rope. with a rope, yeah. you know? And they're towing me into the town to a mechanic, yeah. you know? And, I, and then we were just kind of chatting with the people who originally stopped with us. And they're like, oh yeah, you know, we, we're coming back. My my wife had to go to Topeka to a hospital because she has something wrong with her. Like, And we got up at like 4 a.m. this morning. So they had actually been like up like since 4 a.m. All, all day, 12 and hours. And all that, and they came back and they actually like stopped and helped us. How often would that like, happen in the States, man. really? Never. Like these people are- Are you getting this? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah this is a good story. It is, it is. It was, it was amazing. Like in Los Angeles on the freeway, people would be like, blind. No, I don't see anyone. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's... This is the barbacoa, eh? Borrego? Yes. Sí. And birria. Uh -huh. right. So here's your borrego, which is the sheep. And this is the, the beef, which is the res. Let me see that again. But yeah, simple, hey? So simple. Mm -hmm. A little bit of potato in there. There's a chickpea. It's like a stew. The other one? And then the birria, you can see with the... Because they use the... Uh, Wajillo chili, so it's a little more, it's red. That's how you know you have birria. Wajillo chili. My, my wife is going to be pissed that she didn't come up here today. <laughs> <laughs> is she? Well, she's probably eating some good food as well, but... Wow. Okay, here we go, Bob. Paul. I almost called you Bob. I actually have a question for Taco Tuesday. Mm -hmm. How, oh my God. for people coming to visit, what are you looking for? What would you look to avoid at a taqueria? Like, what would you like? Is there like a like a telltale sign of like you see something like we wouldn't go there? That's a tough question. A good question though for someone yeah. coming to. If people are eating there, it's good. Yeah. If there's like four taquerias nearby and three are full, and one is like the guy is sitting there having a smoke, don't go to that one. Yeah. Like it's like, but. Honestly, it's almost like self-regulated here because most of these tuckeries have been around for like a generation, two generations, three generations. It was the yeah. grandparents, then the parents, now it's the kids. Yeah. Another another thing you can do is order one taco. Yeah, that's true. Let's see how you right? like it. Yeah. And then just be like, if you don't oh, like it. Because then you, you're not fully invested. You can move on to another taco spot. Smart. But you'd be hard pressed. Yeah. Now sometimes not all tacos are created equal. You're like, yeah, that was that was okay, it was good, but it wasn't that it was bad. But this is like okay. My borrego, like so juicy, the tortilla's not dry, like it's almost falling apart. How do you go how do you like oh my god. How do you go wrong? Mm. Can't go wrong. Alright Paul, you gotta eat. Okay. Two thumbs up. Very Make the good. trip. You don't have to come here by bike. You can hop in a car. Yeah, you don't have to come by. And a matter of fact, <laughs> because we have nothing going on right now anyways, 
if you want to set up a moving to Mexi.co experience where we'll drive out here. Yeah, I don't know. Cool. You put two, at least two people together. Minimum two people. We'll drive you out. We'll come check some of these places out. We'll have a little Rysia tasting. We'll finish with lunch here in the mountains and then drive you back to the beach and spend the day. We'll leave early in the morning. So then you great. still have the whole day we'll be back ahead before. of you. Yeah. Muy bien. Okay, I'm gonna eat. You eat, Paul. I don't know, Paul. I have one word. What do you think that word is? Uh, banana. Nope. <laughs> you want to try again? <laughs> um, let's see. Walnut? Close. It starts with the W. Okay. Wow. wow. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't have it. Wow, I was wow, way wow, off. Wow, I was wow. just naming off but like wow, no? foods. Wow? Yes. What, a, what an amazing day. What a great Taco Tuesday. A special shout out to Veloguide, one of our channel sponsors for helping put this together. Another special shout out to Velo Bike, Puerto Vallarta. So if you're in the Puerto Vallarta area and you need a bike rental, you want to buy a bike, you can check them out. My good friend Belen. They also have a second location in Nuevo Vallarta, which is Bike Plus Life. And you know what? I got to throw in BC Busterias there too, because that was the original Velo Guide. The original Velo Guide was BC Busterias in Busterias, Mexico. And this is what we did. This is what I did for a living. I got paid to ride out in all this beauty uh, like five days a week. Wasn't that crazy, Paul? Pretty amazing. Except this year, I didn't get paid to do much. Yeah, not as much. Because no one was here. <laughs> uh, but it was awesome to see this big group come out uh, for our Taco Tuesday episode. It was awesome to have Ian, uh, who works with Wahoo. And if you're looking for a good fitness trainer that you can train indoors, pick up the Wahoo Kicker and then go to veloguide.com. And you know what? Veloguide gives free spin classes. So you can actually hook your your Wahoo kicker up to these virtual routes and I'm I'm creating all these routes here in Mexico you're gonna be able to ride them on your Wahoo using this app called full gas so you can actually ride out here virtually in the mountains with us that's pretty crazy hey Paul like it is. the technology is nuts and the classes with another pro cyclist who you've met Sarah in some of our videos is free anyways on that note I'm getting a we're getting a little long on the tooth here but we will be back hey Paul we got to come back and we are going to learn how to make ricea with Eduardo <laughs> I think yes. that's gonna, that's gonna be so much fun we're gonna, yes. we got to do that like sooner than later and, and uh, we were th talking about making it a camping trip maybe we're gonna make it a camping trip we're gonna come out here in my RV as long as I can get electricity and get the air conditioner um, I think we're fine actually at night it's pretty cool up here anyways it's but pretty awesome just don't, you know, roll off the edge of the cliff here. Don't roll off the edge of the cliff. <laughs> Anyways, on that note, everybody, thanks for joining us. Muchas gracias. If you like what we're doing, please hit that like. Hit the subscription. Subscribe to our channel. Toggle that notification bell. And nos vemos. Hasta luego. And adios. <laughs>